Filmic Pro at the Apple event last week demoed their new software that releases later this year and they showed us some nice stuff. They showed us how you could record from multiple cameras at the same time. For example, if you use the wide angle camera and the ultra wide angle camera and recorded both of those to get your different shots that you needed. Now we were led to believe that only the new lineup of iPhones, the iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max were going to get this feature. But then we found out today that the iPhone 10s, 10s Max, the 10R, and the 2008 iPad Pro are all going to get this feature. So let's talk about it. What's up everyone? It's Jason here with Red Bee Labs and welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos I release. The multi-camera recording is brought to you by Apple. They released their new API in iOS 13 and they said at first that it was going to take a lot of reworking with the hardware to get this to work, but then they came out and told us that, like I said, the iPhone XS, the iPhone XS Max, and um, the XR, and the 2008 iPad Pro already had that stuff built in. So they shipped it, I guess, knowing that this new, prop, this new service, I'm sorry, was coming out in the next year, or maybe they had planned to release it before then, I'm not sure. But this is Apple, so obviously there's caveats. So due to the feature being so strenuous on the hardware, the 2008 lineup of the iPhones and the iPad are only gonna have certain functionality they can use with it. Per the chart, the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, and the 2018 iPad Pro can record or take photos from the back wide and front cameras together, or the back tele telephoto and the front camera, or the back wide and the back telephoto. Three cameras recording is not supported. It's not completely clear what combination the iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Pro, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max will have, but I have high hopes that the A13 Bionic chip paired with the GPU that we won't see a lot of the limitations. Also, I just want you guys to know that this feature is not in the native camera app that ships with the iPhones. This, this feature is only going to be available through third-party apps. Question of the day. Are you excited about these new features coming to the 2008 iPhones and the 2018 iPad Pro? as well as the new iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max? If so, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found value in this video, could you please click the like button and leave a comment below? It really helps me in the channel out. As always, this is Jason, and I'll see you in the next one.